Good morning, crafters, and a warm welcome to Hunky Dory TV. It's Tuesday morning. My name's Dan. I'm going to be your host for the hour. And producing our show today is the lovely Lisa. Good morning, Lisa. Ah, and at the demonstration station making our cards for us today is the Globetrotter. That is Anne-Marie Catterall. Globetrotter to Redditch and back. All the way to Redditch and back. <laughs> it's not very exotic, is it? it? It's a couple of hundred miles, isn't it? I think you did really well. Um, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Are you tired? Or are you... No, I'm not too bad. Okay? It was an early start. My alarm was uh, half past four yesterday morning. Oh, wow. Yeah. That is to... early. Was a little bit early. Yes. Yeah. So was it the light? I guess no. Sunrise must oh, be it's six o'clock. Oh, you saw the sunrise yeah. while you were driving. <laughs> May I say your hair looks delightful Thank today? You. Um, we all thought you'd had it done, but it's... no. Last week you were a bit late to the party for that. But Sorry. Yeah. No. Just curled it. But a bit of curl. Very Got nice. Very smart. Yeah. Uh, so Anne Marie <laughs> has been at Hobby Maker guys yesterday because it is Hobby Maker's uh, big second birthday. Yes, madness. Isn't um, it? The terrible twos. Uh, yeah, but yeah, it's been. It's they're a wonderful company to work with Hobby Maker, and I can't believe that they're already two. So we've had two years it's on their so channel. So crazy how fast that's gone. It's it's gone really really quickly. Yeah, um, but they're super. And congratulations and a big happy birthday to them. They've got shows all the way through the week, um, and we've got shows all the way through the week on Hobby Maker as well. Uh, we launched a product there yesterday that we're going to be showing you here today and it is absolutely gorgeous. I think you're going to love it. Uh, but before we start with that, we should do Win It Weekly. Let's go. I think these are gorgeous. Uh, for the love of stamps, layering swallowtail butterfly and layering peacock butterfly. Can I show them? Is it the wrong ones? Oh, oh you've got the wrong thing on screen. That's okay, don't worry. Um, it'll come up in a second. This is our Win It Weekly, guys, and we're going to give away a number of these. Uh, how many we're going to give away? We're going to find out as soon as Lisa say, puts it on screen. I would say five, five, six. Five six. or six, yeah. Six. Okay, all right. So, um, have we got a question? Can we not find that? Let me think it's the right question. No, that's the wrong question. It's the wrong question. Okay, guys, we are super well organised, uh, as usual, here at Hunky Dory. It's, uh, but we can go old school. Instead of having it on screen, we can have it on a piece of paper stuck to uh, a piece of card. Why not? Uh, so, um, what have we got? Be in, be in the chance of winning a layering butterfly stamp worth £20. If it's worth £20, we'll be giving away five of them. Would that be right? Yeah, but I think Lisa said six. Oh, no, yeah, it's five. five. There we go. Five lucky winners. Thank you very much. Okay, so what we need to know is the answer to this question. What was the name of the team that won the 2015 Red Bull Trolley Grand Prix? Now, why would we be talking about trolleys, Anne-Marie? Why would we be talking about trolleys? I don't know. I don't know. Purple trolleys, maybe? maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe the Red Bull isn't purple, is it? But is it A, Green Falcon Seekers? Is it B, Red Stag <laughs> Hunters? Or is it C, Blue Leopard Rangers? There you go. It's up on screen for you now, guys. What's the name of the team that won the 2015 Red Bull Trolley Grand Prix? Green Falcon Seekers, Red Stack Hunters, or Blue Leopard Rangers? You need to put your comment or your answer to the, uh, to the question into the comments, either on Facebook or on YouTube. Uh, you can do it on the Hunky Dory Hub if you like to. There's loads of education there. Um, and the, we're going to give five of these away on Friday on our Thank Craft It's Friday show. Uh, Stacy designed these and they're brilliant, aren't they? They're amazing. I think Jen actually did these. Oh, is it Jen? I think, yeah. Okay, if I'm Stacey's honest. team. Yeah, um, Stacey. Yeah, yeah Stacey. Came up with the original concept of our layering stamps. And okay. Yeah, I think Jen did these ones. They are awesome. Excellent. With a stamp press especially. Yeah, these and they've are got the brilliant. colour guide on the packaging for which ink pads you need to use as well. Yes, very, very good. Um, okay, before we go on to show you uh, our amazing product that we're launching today here at Hunky Dory, um, we have a birthday to talk about. Do you know? Um, but whose birthday is it? I shall tell you whose birthday is it. Can we get a picture up on screen of this person when they were little? Oh! oh! It's given away who it is. <laughs> Happy 16th oh, birthday to look. Ellery. Ellery is uh, mine and Deborah's son, um, elder son, and he's 16 today, and we cannot believe it. That has gone ridiculously fast as well. I rang her on the way oh, to work today, and I said, congratulations for adulting to the point where you've got a child to 16, because that <laughs> takes some doing, doesn't it? Um, I mean, she's, she's uh, phenomenal at what she does. Um, uh, uh, happy 16th birthday to Ellery. And that's him as a little baby. This Aww. is a kind of iconic pic picture in our family here of, um, of him oh where he got goodness. the pseudocrem. 
Uh, and worst, his pseudocat, it was on the it? wall, it was on the car, it was absolutely everything. Thank God it was pseudocat. Why do they like it so much? I've got no idea. Um, it does feel quite good, though. It I does, think. but it's a horrendous to get off. And, and this is him now, uh, oh. as a big grown-up boy. There we go, 16 years old today. That's him in his uh, grammar school uniform, clever lad. He's doing his mock exams, so he's, um, he's, he's just on two weeks solid of mock exams, and he's... Um, He's an absolute darling. Uh, so, yeah, happy birthday, Ellery. If you're watching, you're not. You're at school. Is he really an absolute darling? Um, genuinely, yeah. I think we're really, really lucky. Oh, that's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah, it's not because of the fathering. It's probably the mothering that's done it. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, so, King, and the Aww. guys here can't believe it because, obviously, Ellery's been, you know, they've known about Ellery since he was born. And, and um, 16 years goes like that, doesn't it? It's, uh, it's so fast. So, uh, congratulations, Ellery. Um, and a little bit indulgent there, so I do apologise. But, anyway. Uh, okay, so... We've got an amazing collection to show you. Uh, it's our pop-up steppers. They really are something quite special. Uh, we've got a VT that we're going to show you first. Aren't they gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous cards. Super, super dimensional. Um, they're going to be best. When you see them, when you like walk past them, that's when you really get that sort of dimension. So I'm going to show you the actual cards themselves. Uh, first off, I'm going to show you our great big pack shot. Okay, so this is the uh, Pop-Up Steppers Cards Ultimate Bundle. We've got two different collections. We've got two different sets. Um, they're very loosely collated into some things that, that, that may appeal slightly more to females and may appeal slightly more to males, but very really, loosely. I mean, very <laughs> <laughs> very loosely um, uh, everyone likes astronauts I know that everyone likes football everyone like you know so on and so forth but um, uh, at the top here you've got selection one at the top bottom you've got selection two they're 17 99 each but you can get these as a multi-buy um, and actually it saves 30 pounds on the individual retail mm -hmm. price uh, and it is just 30 pounds is that right yes yeah so it's 30 30 pounds, saves 30 pounds and is 30 pounds. Yeah, half price. That's half price, that's brilliant. Yeah. Uh, club members are only gonna pay 28 pounds 50 on the bundle and diamond members are gonna pay 27 pounds on the bundle. Envelopes are all included as are instructions for how to make these, but uh, I'm gonna flick through very, very quickly, uh, if I just bring this here, and kind of flick through so that you can see they all come foiled and die cut. Uh, the cards are in the background as well. The envelopes are all in there, everything that you need to make your cards, but really what you want to see is these. These are the cards themselves. Okay, so first off, um, they fall flat to go into your car, into your envelope. Sorry, I adore this. I adore that when you fold up this bottom flap, you, the the artwork continues. Just all matches. And just all so matches. It's, it's How one of those clever. little finishing touches that you probably wouldn't think about. But when you see it, looks incredible. Isn't that brilliant? So it's a card, a proper card, uh, as you can imagine. Uh, but then you've got these uh, this amazing dimensions uh, dimension in there with extra layers as well. Uh, so there's a bit of decoupage going mm -hmm. on there as well, isn't there? Yeah, it is wonderful. Designs and themes for everybody. So you've got the the gorgeous sewing machine there. We've got a church here. I mean, perfect for weddings, christenings. It's beautiful, isn't it? Uh, isn't that gorgeous? You've got the um, uh, the birds in the air there. But look at the background. So you could even so pretty. Use that for sympathy, couldn't you? Oh, you of know, course you could. It's really versatile. Dimension-wise, amazing. You're going to be able to make two of each of these cards. Uh, and these are very special cards. Oh, Again, uh, you get the ties at the bottom there. You pull that down. Uh, you've got the car in front, like a beetle there in front. Uh, this is perfect for a new home. Definitely, yeah. Or maybe we said yesterday about maybe going on travels because you've got the suitcases out the front as well in the car. Oh, absolutely. So it can maybe be like a little bit of um, moving out for the first time, maybe going to university, something like that. Of course, there's a floral card here with the teapot as well. Uh, your biscuits there. Yummy, yummy. Uh, on the back, I want to show you all this. Look at that. If we can get it to pick it up, handmade for you, foiled. Really, really classy. It's really cute, isn't it? It's so What nice. a nice finishing touch. We love that. Uh, these are really simple to put together. Amory's going to show you how to put these together, but exceptionally effective. This is our pop-up steppers at Hunky Dory TV. Uh, you get these at hunkydorycrafts.co.uk. 
that's where you're going to get your club discount. That's where you're going to get your diamond discount if you're a diamond member. Uh, this is set one, so you can get set one for £17.99. All of these, uh, Anne Marie, are available individually. They should are, you want yeah. To. So if you've got a fave, or you know, maybe you're making uh, kind of multiple cards, you, you want to do, this. you know, maybe four or five of one design, you can do that. Look at that. So folds flat for posting but then becomes such a gorgeous dimensional car. And I love that when you send that as well, they don't have to do anything with it. Like, no. you know, sometimes with easel cards, you almost need to put a little bit of instruction in how to display the card. This just pops into shape, it's fabulous. Pops into shape, so, so good, with that lovely sort of step down effect. But I mean, look at the dimension there, look at the, uh, uh, the lovely turrets in the background, you've got the rainbow in the background, you've got stars that go onto that background. So you're creating multiple layers here. Um, you've got the dress here at the front, you've got the crown that's gone on top uh, uh, extra, you've got the lovely flowers at the front. What lovely, lovely dimension. And for a young girl, that's going to be a fantastic card, a beautiful birthday card. You can put whatever sentiments you want onto these from your essential book of sentiments, which means that you're not sort of um, constrained yeah. with, uh, with what um, theme or, or, or uh, occasion that you're sending your card for. Uh, aren't these brilliant? So you get two of each of all of those. Now we're gonna go across to Anne-Marie and get a demonstration so that you can see how easy these are to put together. Then we're gonna show you collection two. Uh, but Anne-Marie, later on, you're going to be showing you some different things you can do with this. I am, yeah. Because you don't have to keep them like this. You don't, absolutely not, no. Uh, you can do uh, quite a lot with them actually when you look at it, it's really, really cool. So we are gonna do the Spaceman. Um, because he is Amazing. such a firm favourite, isn't he? He's, he's just wonderful. So everything you need comes on one sheet, which we absolutely love. Uh, I was telling everybody yesterday that our in-house name for these is One Sheet Wonders. One Sheet Wonders. Because everything is on one sheet, which is perfect if you are maybe buying the collection and you're going to split it with your friends, or you know you you maybe get a little bit confused with concept cards and. What you don't want is you need this bit off this sheet, this bit off that sheet, you know, everything's all on one sheet ready for you. So you get all of your base cards. If I just grab that first of all. I love the depth of colour in that sheet. I know, it's it's so good, isn't it's it? vibrant. Yeah, so much going on just there, isn't there? It is wonderful. And the first thing I like to do is um, stick the base together. So we're going to go in with the fabulous um, high tack tape. This is the 12 mil one because it is perfect for this. Guys, this is new. This is your 12 millimeter high tack tape. You don't see this. You see three mil, you see six mil, but if you want to be grabbing a larger section or a larger area like that, uh, an ultra high tech tape is what you want for any kind of construction project. Yeah, um, anything kind of kinetic. You want to make sure it's got moving. that that grip, haven't you? For sure, this is your way to go. Um, that, that 12 millimeter tape, you can get it on its own. I think it's 3.99, oh, this is good. Uh, 3.99 for a roll, but there is a multi-buy on it where you can get three rolls together um, for 9.99 and save yourself a little bit of money there as well. Um, it's really, I mean, 15 meters of, of tape there, that goes quite a long way. It does, definitely. Okay, and what that base does, because we've obviously, because it's a double base, not only does it give us that fabulous print when everything comes up, it also gives that some extra kind of weight to pull those steps down when your car's displayed. Sure. So it's really, really substantial. These are solid cards, so it, it will sit there. They're not going to blow off your mantelpiece, no. Piece, absolutely no. not, And it's no. that double flap that kind of helps to give it, it that does. support, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, for sure, it really is good. And then what you'll find on each of your layers is a letter, so this is A. And then on the base here, we've also got A. So this one's slightly different because they, it's in like two little sections. Some of them, like the princess, for example, is like a full kind of tab. So they're all, they all have the letters. It's just finding out which one goes where. So we're going to put some tape on these tabs and we're going to stick them down exactly where they go. They're the same shape. So you can't get this wrong. So if I same turn it around, shape, so it, you, you can't you can put them see. on the wrong way round. No, you You've can't got get letters, uh, you know, yeah. A goes to A, B goes to B. Yeah, and even Thank this one, you for making like, it easy. Alan's made it super simple for us because he's even got A1 and A2. So oh. you, you can't get your A's mixed up either. So again, going in with that red liner onto there. And then we're also gonna put some red liner onto these three tabs here. So these are the ones that stick to the back of the card that hold these pop-ups in place. Okay, everything's scored? Everything's pre-scored. So, so you can't go wrong, you can't you bend can't. it in the wrong place nope. or? It's, it's preschool for you, that's excellent. Absolutely. Uh, and we have uh, two designers to thank for this, uh, this lovely collection, this lovely pair of collections. And one of them uh, is Alan, as we said. Uh, Alan's our, our kind of uh, kinetic guy, he's isn't he? He's very technical, isn't oh, he? He's technical. great at this, he's yeah. Good. Um, he's good with maths. Uh, and uh, Stephanie is the one who did the design work. Um, 
Steph, Steph's a superstar, an absolute superstar. She does a lot of work on the on the club free gifts as well. She so. does, yeah, she does. Um, yeah, she's done an amazing job of these. I think they look absolutely beautiful. When you see them next to each other, wow. Okay, so I like to get those tabs down first. And then with the card flat like this, with the bottom pulled down, I'm going to take the tape off these three tabs as well. So just going in with my dye brush to get those, the backing off those tapes. And I'm just going to fold that top half of that tab down and stick that in place. Okay, while everything's folded down like this, because when that pushes back up, it's guaranteed to be in the right place. Guaranteed to be in the right place. So as long as you keep it flat yep. when you're doing it, so you hold it down and then press down like that, and it's guaranteed to be in the right place. Yep. You can't go wrong. Brilliant. You cannot and the go reason wrong. for that, in, as opposed to putting, because we could have put letters at the top as well, yeah, couldn't we? Yeah, we, we had a conversation about this, about having these letters here printed onto the back of here as well, so that you, you absolutely couldn't get the tabs in the wrong place. But then we thought it kind of restricted what else you could do with the cards if you didn't want to do this. Correct, because you would have um, areas with yeah. like a letter on that you would have to cover with something. Yeah, exactly. So if you want to really extend your card making and, and create something completely different, uh, use the background somewhere else and so on and so forth, you can do You're a little these. bit more limited, yeah. It's only the base that's yeah. got, that's got the, uh, the, the letter on. That's all you need. Okay, so let me just grab some of these other bits and pieces out now because these some of these do need to go on that back panel as well. So I'm going to just get these onto here first. And this just creates extra layers. Just gives uh, even more dimension. Further these. dimension. It's just wonderful. So I'm going to pop that onto here as well. And then this planet goes up at the top as well. Even these bits, even these little bits push out. Oh, lovely. That just give us the most incredible depth on here. And you don't have to use all these bits on here either. If you want to use them on another project, something like that, you've got some really cool extra elements there. Foam pads, Anne-Marie, is what you're using. So uh, first off, sorry, ultra high tech tape, ultra you high said, tech tape. is the absolute way to yeah. go. Uh, we have a multi-buy on our um, three mil and six mil ultra high tech tape as well, guys. Um, uh, that's available and uh, have we got the, can we get that up on screen? Uh, there we go, that's 14.99, but that should be, I think there's over 20 quid's worth of ultra high tap tape yeah, in there. Yeah, there so it's, is. It's a, it's a great deal. Um, so you need that for your, for your construction, but then you want foam pads. Yeah, definitely. That's the way to go with this. Yeah, 100%. That's going to add even more dimension to this. Um, we did do a card yesterday at Hobby Maker as well, where we actually cut the tabs off and stuck everything on just as decoupage layers. Oh, right, So okay. ta taking the bottom off the card, and like with the Spaceman, for example, we'd cut those tabs off the bottom and that tab there, and then just stick it on as decoupage. And I'm seeing him as well with a little piece of acetate yeah. and him sort of hanging over and uh, and doing his space walk. We, we did that yesterday. Oh, have you done that as well? <clears throat> that was the... Um, that was the different card that we made yesterday. We made a diorama. We're going to do one of those today as well. Excellent. But we did that yesterday and I used the Spaceman for that. He looks so cool. Just some extra little, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Bless you, Anne-Marie. Little bits and pieces. Oops. Right, I'm hoping I get this right now because uh, I'm just bringing up the, um, <coughs> the comments so that we can, uh, we can just see what people think. But last time I did this, uh, did you break all, it? all of a sudden there was te there was uh, there were there were two me's talking, and people say there's enough <laughs> with, there's enough with one of me talking. Okay, let's get this second layer on now. So we've got his feet on. So again, keeping it flat, and that is just gonna tuck in behind there. Get his helmet on. Oh, Viv Williams, what an out of this world kit, she says. Very good. <laughs> very, very good. We do. We do love it a lot. It's, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous kit. Okay. And then the only thing we need to do now is just fold our card back around. Give that a good burnish. Oh, untuck his arm from underneath that planet. <laughs> Let's take and a look at this go. then. And look at that. I mean, I, I, again, I'll bring this close. Look right, so you see that at the, at, at, at the um, right at the beginning when that's when that's folded up, uh, it's just such a clever touch that yeah. Alan's done with that. It just um, looks so cool, though, doesn't it? Doesn't it look brilliant? There's so much dimension. You've got the this this foiled stars in the background because these are accent foiled as well, guys. There are so they some do extra little stars as well on here that I haven't pushed out yet, but you can decoupage those on as well. You can add them to it as well. Everything that you need is on one sheet for you there, so it's nice and simple. But the quality of that artwork you can see is gorgeous, and the the 
I just think the the depth of the um, uh, of the vibrancy of the print with yeah. this is beautiful. It's incredible, isn't it? And that's our wonderful planet Earth from uh, from <coughs> from quite a distance. Uh, very very cute. I like that a lot. Okay, so um, we're going to go back to our win it weekly, uh, and uh, we're going to uh, repeat that question for you. Uh, we did this at the beginning of the show, but we uh, it took us a while to get it right. So um, our fault. We do apologise. But we would love you to like uh, and share and share our video. Please do. Uh, but add your comment. What is the name? of the team that won the 2015 Red Bull Trolley Grand Prix. Uh, a, the Fol Green Falcon Seekers, B, the Red Stag Hunters, or C, the Blue Leopard Rangers. One of those will be correct. Uh, we'll give you the correct answer on Friday if you've not worked it out between now and then. Uh, and we will pick five lucky winners who've got the answer right in the comments on Facebook, YouTube, or indeed the Hunky Dory Hub. Um, and we'll send you those lovely laying butterflies. And you could be stamping, we'll send them out on Friday. Um, service uh, update, team's doing a great job. So orders from the weekend are going out right now. Uh, we'll be moving on to, to, on to yesterday's orders today as well, which is fantastic. <coughs> uh, and wonderful. same for hobby maker orders, which is brilliant. So I'm really pleased with that. They're doing a super job. Uh, okay, shall we look at the second part of this uh, gorgeous kit? Again, I'm just going to flick through this so that you can see you get sheets, uh, which are, as Anne-Marie showed you, full die cut, uh, ready to be pressed out, nice and easy. Uh, you get the instructions with them as well uh, on the back there, so you can see those. Uh, and obviously you get envelopes as well for these to fit in. Uh, but this is what they make. We'll go first to the one that Anne-Marie just showed you. Um, and this is our gorgeous uh, astronaut. Um, really, really fancy. Oh, it's come apart there. That's, uh, that's probably me being a little Maybe bit too a bit forceful with it, um, messing about with it, but there we go. Um, absolutely gorgeous. We've got a birthday cake. Uh, same idea, so you see the presents and the cupcakes there at the bottom. Uh, all comes out with that. We've got bunting in the background, foiled stars <coughs> there as well. Really, really nice. Again, $17.99, this is for set two. You get two of each of these cards, so it makes 12 cards in total. Um, garden shed, wellies there at the front. People just starting to think about mm -hmm. getting out in the garden. Um, love the door there uh, on the shed. You've got the roof with the, the, uh, the dimension, the accent foiling, all the different plants that you've got there. Um, really, really nice. Perfect cards for him or for her there. Uh, lovely. We've got a lovely card for the youngsters. Here we go, uh, with a safari, all people who like cute, of course. Uh, have you seen the monkey? So cool, isn't it? Isn't he cool? It's isn't great for cool? like new baby cards, that as well. Oh, for sure, for sure. Yeah, that's really bright and really quite fun. Um, out on safari there, but it's the animals doing the safari, which is super. This is great. Look at that. It's fab, isn't it? I'm not sure which, I'd, I'd like all five of those, I think. Um, have you seen the optics, right? We need to have a little look at the names that we've got here. Okay, so we've got Moonstone Beer, uh, Craft Beer, we've got Premier Craft Beer, uh, and we've got Prism Ale. Isn't that brilliant? It's so clever, isn't it? Really, really clever. Absolutely gorgeous. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, your own little bar with your own little optics there in the background and uh, yeah, your own little draft pumps. Um, super, and your little uh, little beers there at the front as well, um, and just just pop up like that. I think it's they, these are so different; they can look fantastic on people's mantelpieces. They really are. Uh, I think you're, you're looking at the favourite cards that people are going to receive for their birthdays here. Uh, football lovers, um, and the, the the guy playing football there, just leaping out from that. But pitch. it's amazing the football one, isn't it? The dimension there is just crazy, isn't it? It's uh, so good. Again, the card has handmade for you foiled onto the back of it as well. Uh, so it looks, they are handmade, but they look really, really high quality, yeah. don't they? Uh, and that's what you get with Hunky Dory goodies, guys, you know that. Um, so 12 super dimensional pop-up scene cards. Uh, there's your six designs, you get two of each, but that, the, the saving is in that multi-buy. So let's just go back to that multi-buy for a second, let me show you um, this great big pack shot. You get everything there, but you can make, and you can see the cards here in the centre, um, but you can make, uh, uh, how many? 24 cards in total for £30, so it's just over a pound a card. £27 for Diamond members, £28.50. Um, if you're making these for just over a pound, I mean, what, what would that cost you to buy in a shop? Oh my goodness. If I you think could, you're looking... Come back to this for a second. Kind of four or five pounds. Yeah, you've, you've got to be. It's got to be a five of that. If, I if, mean, it's it, got to be a fiver. I mean, if you could find a card like yeah. that, which you can't, um, I, I've never seen a card that's as good as that in a shop. Uh, really, really haven't. Um, 
if you could if you could find one, you're going to be paying at least a fiver. Uh, so this is just over a pound uh, with that multi buy. I think that's such such a good deal. Uh, Anne Marie. Do you want to do something slightly different yeah, then? Yeah, so we're going to um, make a diorama for this one. So we're going to use the little princess. Um, and uh, I'm sneak peeking a little bit of uh, cardstock that's coming, I think, probably next week. Okay. Um, a little bit of adorable score. Oh, wow. I know, it's magical. Okay, isn't that's it? pretty special. Absolutely magical. So, what I'm going to do first of all is I'm just going to trim this down to eight this way. And then I need two pieces that are five inches. So have you any cut. idea what the name of that card is? I think it's marvelous. Marvelous. That I works, think, doesn't it? I think. Um, okay, so we've got two sections now, which are five by eight. And they are going to become the front and back of our dioramas. And we've gone with that size because when we just have that middle section of our card blank there. It's five by four, so it's just gonna give us that perfect kind of diorama edge around that background. So let's trim off the bottom and trim off the side. So we just end up with that panel there. And then we need to bring in our scoreboard and do our diorama scores. So really nice and easy. They have the exact same scores on each piece of cardstock it just depends which way we fold it to create the front and the back so we're going to score at one we're going to score at two we're going to score at six and we're going to score at seven and then do the same on the other one so one two six and seven <clears throat> and then we're going to use one of these to create the back so I'm actually going to have the pattern on the inside of the card. You could flip it the other way if you wanted to and have the pattern on the outside. So that becomes the back of our diorama. So it gives us that kind of shape. And then the front, we're going to fold the opposite way so it comes out that way in the foreground. But we're going to cut an aperture out here first of all. So we're going to go back to our trimmer. And that's where this trimmer really comes into its own, oh, isn't it? Oh, 100%. It is just amazing because you can't achieve this with a guillotine. You just can't do it. So we are cutting in, and I'm just lining it up to the half inch march, but mark, but I actually just use the grids, so I'm, I'm going like the second kind of grid along. Okay. Here. And we are just going to turn that around and then just cut, just stopping it towards the bottom where roughly where that half inch mark is going to be. And that is just going to give us that perfect aperture. You could use your dies as well if you wanted to use a die to create a fancy front. You could use a circle die or something like that. <coughs> and then this, like I said earlier, is going to fold back the opposite way to give us, when these go together, that kind of look. And that's where you can see that dimension. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is get the back in place. So let's get this down. Let's go with our ultra high tack because it's here. So you're scoring everything in the in, in the same places. You're just folding them uh, the Opposites, opposite way. Yeah, absolutely makes perfect yeah. sense. Yeah, and you can change the depth as well. I've gone with an inch, which you need to remember that that's going to give you two inches of depth when it's together. If you want to do half an inch on each, you can do that as well. Or if you want to go bigger, just remember that it's kind of doubled once you have your your front and your back together. So this is just going to sit on the inside of here like this so that's given us that back panel it works perfectly with this cardstock it really does and then while the back is still there I'm going to go in and add all my extra back kind of decoupage bits and pieces which is the two clouds so let's just get come on these two in place and Marie we've got a little bit of popular demand going on for the uh, for the football card okay and whether or not we could do it <coughs> in different team colors now oh, okay thing is there's too many team colors there's okay, a lot so of team colors you think about it because you might want you might want red you might want blue but you might want blue with stripes you might want red with stripes etc cetera, etc cetera. okay so th there was some logic of uh, how about doing it in the England colors okay uh, which yeah, works yeah. to a certain extent but same sort of thing so yeah. maybe I wonder if there is a way for us to do one um, further down the line, where it is on Maptastic instead of on yeah. um, uh, uh, Adorable Scorable, which means that they would be able to add their own colour to it. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, okay, some, certainly something we can look at, but it'd be way down the line, guys, if we can. Um, just we, we're, uh, we're all 
booked out and planned out really we for um, till no, when. No room at the inn right now. There's no room at the inn. <laughs> Okay, uh, but it is something. Yeah, uh, I've I've uh, I've seen that and recognised it. And thank you very much for the uh, for the feedback, guys. So we need to add a piece of acetate into the middle of here now because this is going to give us that extra layer of dimension. This is where we're going to put our castle on. So the acetate also needs to be five inches tall, and it needs to be the width of this side panel, the back, and this side panel. So yes, not the yes, whole yes. thing because obviously you, it doesn't need to be that wide. It needs to kind of hold this shape in place. So we've got one, four and one. So we need this to be five by six. And then that means you can easily line that up to each side and you know it's gonna hold that shape and, and keep it in that kind of inverted Absolutely. kind of shape there. And then that gives us that area to add on our second layer. And this is going to be that, that's sturdy now <coughs> yeah absolutely it, yeah it's solid it's locked in place isn't it and that's that ultra high tech tape again and i think you went with the, the 12 mil again didn't you i did yeah, yeah, yeah. because it's, it's so useful it is so useful i was saying yesterday you know if you've only ever had three mil and six mil high tech tape and you're, you're used to just putting rows and rows and rows of tape on then this fiddly, is just a it? game changer yeah Okay, so yeah, let's... I've not seen it before. <clears throat> no. I've not seen it before. Nobody's seen it yesterday you, you at I, Maker. It was You it and was I good. came up with it, Anne Marie. Uh, as, a, as 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 an idea in uh, in our office, in my office if I remember rightly. Yeah. So we're gonna go in now and cut off these tabs because we've created our own dimension with that layer. So we don't need those tabs. So instantly we've just created a, a decoupage element Absolutely. or whatever you need that to be. So again, don't feel restricted to just this style of card. If you want to do something else, give it a try. So let's get this on. You don't have to use foam pads if you don't want to, but again, just gives you a little bit more. Uh, Heather has just said, I've been naughty again and done three more orders and ordered the, the stained glass floral ultimate collection, which is oh, gorgeous. So isn't nice. It? What a kit. I think that is uh, from, a, from, we call them flagships, don't we? Yep. Um, which are our sort of fold and die cut toppers, uh, whereas this would be called a, a concept card, if you will. Yeah. Uh, from a flagship perspective, I think it's probably my favourite of the year so Honestly, far. Honestly, we, uh, we had a question on Spin the Wheel on, was it Friday? Or was it the Friday before? The Friday before, and, and someone had, the question was, what's been your favourite collection we've released so far this year? And I was like, it's not been released technically yet, but it's, it's, it's that yeah, one. Yeah. Yeah. I, think, I think maybe uh, next week there's something rather special coming as well. But uh, okay, um, and she said, give me a sec. I uh, got the stained glass for ultimate collection and the matching card and the premium premium craft tool desktop tool organizer, oh, which is nice. super. Oh, nice, yeah. Um, and the premier craft tools three tier crafty rolling cart. Well, if she's got that, she must have placed her order with Hobby Maker. Must have, right yeah. now, unless, is it live on our site yet? Mm -mm. Is it not live? Mm -mm. No. Why didn't you put, why didn't you, should we, should we put it live? Can we put it live? Can we not? I don't know. It's for tomorrow, Dan. It's for tomorrow. You it's for are tomorrow. not allowed okay, to do Okay, sorry. This. Sorry, stop it! I got overexcited because um, because I, I think you, you are should have... so pesky. You may have seen me yesterday, everybody. You may have seen you actually me live. The Hobby Maker. Actually, live on Hobby Maker TV. I um, did say before the show, so is the only time Dan's getting on air. It is. I, I am not allowed. She, Maria, said specifically, you're not allowed on Hobby Maker because I will cause carnage. You, um, you will. And it's... you'll be doing things like this. Yes, oh, can I we know. not just have that? I know. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> So, so the uh, the storage trolley uh, will be. Well, although I must say, if you, oh, if you saw it yesterday, uh, there wasn't very much in my face. It was predominantly no, crotch. It was <laughs> all crotch. It was the crotch cam, wasn't it? Crotch unfortunately? cam. We did say you've got lovely trousers on. Lovely. We were admiring oh, your mug. And oh. your can of Pepsi that were on the shelf behind you. I know. You as well. I know. We only realised afterwards. I'm so sorry. Oh well. It was. Funny. Larry let down. It was um, funny. Yeah. So tomorrow. Is the uh, we're, we're launching the, the storage trolley along with some great PCT offers, I think, as well, yes, aren't we? Yes, definitely. Uh, Premier Craft Tool offers. Okay, we're just adding our decoupage layers onto this castle now. There's so many layers on here. Just get that little door on, and then we're going to get the front in place. So, again, going in with that high tack, just down each side. See, this is something where you would normally have to put two rows of tape, so this is just making life quicker, easier cheaper as well because you're not using as much tape it is fabulous patricia says imagine this at christmas 
could that be possible to do a pop up uh, pop ups come Christmas time? Patricia, you as bad as Dan. Of course, Patricia's <laughs> letting all the cats out of the bag. Um, Patricia, are you working here? Are you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> She might be. Um, honestly, some of the, uh, the, the, the ideas and plans uh, that we've got for Christmas this year, absolutely gorgeous. Look at this, though, from a diorama Doesn't perspective, cool? that's got depth. So cool. So we're just going to add our little princess onto here now. So just pushing out that layer. And the die cutting and the, the attention to detail on the die cutting is incredible. It really is just something else. I mean, just around her crown, it looks so neat. Look at that. Uh, whoever is um, is on the Hunky Dory comments today, uh, commenting this Hunky Dory craft, so it will either be Lisa or it'll be maybe Jen Lisa's or maybe Jess. definitely there. Uh, yeah, yeah, but Lisa, Lisa, she does sometimes. She's a multitasker, she? but we tell her off. Um, has put, we can certainly pass this on to our design team. We did have fun creating these. And that's that's the um, the, the well-behaved company answer. Yeah? yeah. Whereas what you get from us is Christmas. We're definitely doing Christmas. It's brilliant. You want to see them. Um, absolutely. Well done. Unky Dory Crafts telling us how we should do it and showing us how we should do it. <laughs> do these fold flat, says Jane? They Jane, do. They they, this one will as well. Yep, the diorama will as well. Well, I will show you in a second. We'll get our little princess on. Now I'm just going to put her on flat onto the front because she's already quite dimensional. Uh, Diane says, um, uh, Karen, because Karen said, uh, wait and place your order tomorrow. Um, she said, I don't want the car kit to sell out. She did that the other day with the sentiment banner bundle and it sold out. It certainly did. Yeah, they um, have been reordered. They Well, they have been reordered yeah. uh, because I, I had the, because um, uh, we pay up front for it. So I had I had a, um, an invoice through from station that said, Daniel, can you pay this quickly, please? Yep. So I paid that yesterday. Yeah, they have been reordered. So we can add our little princess onto there and there you have your beautiful diorama with all of that dimension going on you could see that way as well and to fold these flat you kind of need to go like this yes can you see to the side. so we're Absolutely. still going to an envelope and it will go into is it a six, six, six by six, six. yeah yeah um, Absolutely. and then it will just kind of pop back into shape absolutely Fabulous, Anne-Marie. I love that. Very, very different uh, and a different viewer, a different way. So can I mail borrow it? Is that mm -hmm. okay? Uh, so, and let me find, here we go. So I'm going to show you both of these. So this one here is the, uh, the standard or normal uh, way to put them together. And uh, there's nothing standard about that. It's uh, rather special. Absolutely not, no. Um, pops up, goes flat, pops up. And this is the way that Anne-Marie's just done it with the diorama, uh, even deeper dimension. Uh, but also looking like decoupage instead again folds flat and you get that lovely aperture there you've got the acetate in the background that you've got the layer on um isn't that really really nice two lovely ways to do uh, to, to, to do a card and there are others as well guys um so there's so so many different ways that you can get uh, lots and lots of uh, variety out of these cards i think they're absolutely beautiful um Congratulations to the designers for designing them because I think they're lovely. Uh, okay, so now I need to mention again our ultra high-tech tape uh, mega buys. So first off, our, our 12 mil uh, ultra high-tech tape, five meters of it is available now. Um, this has been reformulated. Uh, do you know what I was just about to say? We haven't told everybody the best bit about this new tape. We haven't told everybody the best bit about this new tape, but this is a new formulation. So Anne-Marie and I and Natalie actually did the testing on this. Um, and we tested it against uh, the previous, so we've, we've, uh, we've changed the formulation slightly um, to get it exactly as we want. I mean, it's slightly less static now, isn't it's it? It's a lot less static. A lot less static. It, if you, I, I know personally, I am not a massive user of high tat tape because of the static. It drives okay. me insane. It drives you mad, yes, but and this. This is nowhere near. This, it's, it's, it's hardly static. Which means it's much more easy to handle, yes. to use, yep. uh, to, to, to be friends with. Yes. I think, was it Becca who said that ultra high tech tape, it smells your fear. It yes. knows you're, it knows you're <laughs> yeah. afraid. Yeah. Um, well, well, this is, uh, yeah, this is, friendly. this is, this is friendly high tech tape, um, which is nice. Maybe we've, uh, maybe it's grown up as well, like Ellery yeah. has, and it's just started to mellow. Yeah. I don't know. Chill out a bit. But it's a new formula, guys. Uh, and this is the three mil and six mil megabytes. So you get five of each. There's 10 rolls in there in total. Uh, 50 meters uh, of ultra high tech tape here for 14.99 should be um, uh, over 20 quid. I, I, I don't know how much it is individually. 
It's the RP20, it's exactly that's 14 99 there you go. So you're saving a fiver with this, guys. This is an essential item to have in your stash. And I would use Ultra High Tech Tape um, on, on any kind of kinetic, any kind of moving card. Uh, definitely, definitely. Um, foam pads, uh, okay, so we have a selection of foam pads. And uh, there is a selection of foam pads. I'm sure you've seen foam pads before, but uh, our foam pads have a deal. Uh, so they're normally a pound each, but you can get any 10 for eight quid and you can choose those 10. So if you want to have some of the shadow ones that are black, um, they are black underneath. Uh, if you want some of the topper ones, if you want some squares, if you want some one mil, if you want some two mil, uh, if you want some of the large squares or the large rectangles, which are indeed the, the most popular, uh, you can get those. If you want the minis, look at those, you know, the, the minis where you've got so many individual foam pads. Uh, hundreds upon hundreds upon each sheet, or the strips. They're all really, really, really useful. And those strips have got different widths as well. Um, you can actually go sort of round things with them. They're really, really clever. Uh, then get your foam pads. Uh, any 10 sheets for eight square oinks. Um, uh, super duper. Okay, what else? Oh, what I must tell you. So, uh, we've shown you our beautiful um, uh, pop-up stepper cards. Uh, there are two different collections that you can choose from, or indeed there's that multi-buy, which is what everyone is going for, uh, which saves you, uh, saves you money. It actually saves you 30 pounds in total because you can buy each of these individually. So should you want to buy the main kit and then, but you think, you know, I've got, I've got three girls who, who I know would love that, um, uh, uh, the princess card. Or indeed, if you say, okay, well, I, it's not all for me, but I want this one and this one and this one, then you can buy them individually. So, uh, Lisa, have we got a price up on screen for me? Thank you very much. Uh, they are £2.50 each. So you can get these for £2.50 and put them together for £2.50, okay? As we said, you're gonna be spending at least a fiver to buy something like that in the shop. So that's like basically half the price that it would cost. Um, but there's a multi-buy, so you can choose any five, and it's any five across the board. It's completely yours to choose. You choose which ones you want. Um, pick any five for a tenner. Uh, and that brings them down to two quid each. And then obviously when you get down to the big multi-buy, they're down to one pound something each. Um, it is over a quid, but not too much over a quid. Uh, different ways to be able to uh, to get hold of your pop-up steppers. It's completely up to you which way you choose. Uh, okay, uh, it says here, recap and pack shot. Um, well, I think we've just done that. We'll do the pack shot very quickly. That's your, your £30 um, selection. Diamond members, 27 uh, quid, so they're, they're getting 10% off. The Hunky Dory Club are getting £1.50 off and paying £28.50. Makes 24 cards, so as we say, just over a quid uh, per card there. Uh, all indeed, uh, one sheet wonders so that you can uh, pop these together nice and easily. Everything's quite self-contained uh, and you create those gorgeous, that gorgeous dimension. Uh, okay, so um, we've got a couple more things to look at and I think I've, there we go. <laughs> No, I will, I will, I will, I will. It's on the, it's on the list of things to do, you see. I know, but that makes it sound like no. you do as you're told. Which is not a thing. Uh, okay, let's, well, let's do them in the order that you bring them up on screen. How's about that? Shall we explode some boxes? We got that right. Okay, Exploding Boxes Project Kit. This is the ultimate collection, which contains all three of our exploding um, boxes here. You can't get them on screen, they're too big, uh, but you get everything in here that you need to make an exploding box, uh, including all the bits and bats that go on top, all the embellishments, the, uh, the ribbons, the, uh, the selections for inside. Uh, shall I show you one? Actually, explode, don't worry. Um, it's not gonna blow up, blow up. Um, with love here, uh, and then as you take this off, uh, it should, although these have been sat there for quite some time. They've been cooped up for They've been a cooped while. up for a while. So if you do that and press them down, there we go. And then I lift them up and put this on top. Then when we get this, it should open up like that. There you go. Um, and you get all these different layers, which is really quite nice, isn't it? All the different artwork on them. So you get the uh, uh, you get these lovely um, swirls, if you will. You get the party hats at the back, which is really cute. Uh, you also get the cakes there, because of course, uh, this is happy birthday. You get the butterflies, uh, the pieces of acetate that goes on those. All of these are different sections that, that, um, that you pop out and actually stick onto. So you can get, and if you want to, Amory, you can put some sweets in here. You could, you yeah, can do whatever you, you like. all sorts of little treats in there. Uh, you, you get your little ribbon on top. They're really, really nice. So this is more than a card. Uh, and you can get them for £5.99 uh, per one. There are three different ones to choose from. Um, you get five, five fold and die cut sheets there. You've got your, your beautiful pink one here as well. Oh, don't fall, don't drop. All right, uh, for you, uh, there we go, absolutely gorgeous. And then you've got your yellow one as well, or you can buy all three of them together for 
14.99 and save about three quid. And then if you're really naughty, you can put the wrong lid on um, just, to, just to wind Lisa up. So I'll do that. I'll put the wrong lid on that one. Uh, see how much trouble I get in at the end of the show. Oh, you wet till Nat's back in tomorrow. Oh, yeah, she, you're on. Yeah, because Nat, Natalie's she, oh, that's Nat, off today. She's not, she's at Hobby Maker. I thought I'd not seen that. Yeah, she's at Hobby Maker. She's so, actually on Jewelry Maker in about 13 minutes. Is she? Yeah. That's nice. Um, yeah. If she's on Jewelry Maker, my feeling or my thoughts would be that she is doing something with Craftwire. She is indeed. The yeah. Craftwire has been so popular. Uh, it, and thank you so much for everyone who's uh, who's who's purchased the Craftwire from us. There's a um, that that handbook is brilliant. Uh, there's also some digital. There um, are. Uh, uh, some new digital downloads, aren't there? Which yeah. Is, uh, like Easter and Mother's Day and stuff like that. We're going to continue doing those, so do not worry. Uh, and yes, of course, Christmas, don't worry, because we can make Christmas trees with craft wire and they look blooming brilliant. Uh, <laughs> we have Wings of Wonder. Is this correct? Um. No, we have Floral, reve floral Reveal. <laughs> You can't get the stuff, can you? Um, here we go. <coughs> Floral reveal co uh, concept card kit. Always easier if I show you the cards themselves. But I mean, this is this is quite substantial. It's quite thick and heavy. That uh, you make sixteen complete cards in this uh, for seventeen ninety nine. But they've got this lovely uh, what somebody coined as a belly band, which is quite a nice little <laughs> nice little uh, little way. And when you open it, you get this kinetic movement with uh, a top of it also a nice message. Um, wishing you love and happiness. Really, really nice. Uh, and obviously you can write your messages in the centre there if you should so choose. You can obviously put the internet on the back and write it on there should you choose. Uh, numerous different, uh, lovely. So the rose is here. Love the foiling around the outside of these as well. Have a beautiful day. Uh, nice space, as we said, inside for your message. Just something a little bit different. Shutter cards. Um, really nice. If you want to, completely up to you. Uh, you can do things, different things with them, and I love that you can do this with our concept cards, Emery. marie uh, Just something a little, make them a little bit different. Yeah, uh, definitely. And that's an easel there. Really, really nice. Uh, and here is a more simple gatefold for you as well. Uh, happy birthday there in the middle. Nice uh, little sort of watermarked insert in the centre. Very, very nice. And the last concept card I'm going to show you today, my friends, is our Wings of Wonder. Here we go. Uh, so another full kit um, makes 12 concept cards. Uh, six designs, two of each, £14.99, and they look um, just like this. There we go. If I, can, if I can move them to the side, there we go. Am I doing this right, Amory? I think I'm doing this right. Yeah. Yes, good. Uh, <laughs> opens up quite differently. You get that lovely sort of pyramage on there as well, but you get a number of different panels. Uh, really, really nice. So that's your central section. Uh, and then when it folds flat, it folds flat for posting as well. Um, who would like to see Woody Woodpecker? There we go. Uh, gives you information about the woodpeckers as well. It's really cool, isn't it? Woodpeckers hammer their beaks into trees, forming holes where they may extract food with their long sticky tongues. They're active during the day and will roost in the holes they create at night. How cool. There we go, Wings of Wonder. But of course, same as always with our cards, you can do something a little bit different and put them together differently should you choose to. Uh, and I love that with the puffins, really nice. It's really cute, isn't it? Uh, and lovely information about the puffins as well, which is something a little bit different for our cards, which is beautiful. Uh, Anne-Marie, we are going to come across and have a demonstration, if okay. that is all right with you. Absolutely, so we're going to do the bar, and we're going to make like um, a little bit of a gatefold card with this Oh, nice. One. So I'm going to, we need the front, we need the, the step bit, but we don't need the back. Okay. So I'm going to cut that off like that. We're going to put this together as normal so that this bit is done and then we'll get on with the rest of it. So again, just using that high tech tape on our tabs, we're just going to get these into place. So these ones obviously line up on that tab perfectly, but they also line up at the sides in here. So it's nice and easy to get this one together. So again, while it's flat, take the tape off those tabs, fold those under. Keep it flat and get those in place. And they just fit like underneath each other. So it's so easy to know exactly where that is going. Oh, I've not scored my card. I'm like, why is this not folded up? I've not done that bit yet. Um, and then go in with our second layer. The bar's just brilliant. <clears throat> it's isn't such it? a cool one, isn't it? It's so, so good. And I, I, I love how clever that, you know, Moonstone Ale, uh, Prism Ale, and, um, you know, Premier Craft Beer it is, is, is brilliant, isn't fab. it? Fab. So, so good. 
So Which again, is really nice because when you give that to somebody, you know that there's those sort of sneaky hints to, yeah. to um, cheeky, not sneaky, cheeky hints uh, to, to, uh, to, to the love for hunky dory stuff. Um, yeah. which we're ever so thankful for, guys. Always. How much people yeah. love uh, Hunky Dory. Okay, let's get this bottom folded up. I did it completely back to front, this one, but you can, it also works this way. I haven't actually um, had a read of the instructions, so I'm not sure how Alan's told you how to make them. So apologies if I don't match up to Alan. Which is interesting because obviously you were involved in the creation of these, so you know how to make them the way that you want to make them. Yeah. Because you because you you were you were doing playing with the uh, yeah. with the concept. And you and just everything. find your own little quirks as well, don't you? Find your own way of doing things. Okay, we're going to now go to our scoreboard to create the uh, gatefold section of this now. So I've got a piece of gold mirror that I've already trimmed down to five, and I'm going to score at two. I'm going to score at six and then we're going to cut at eight and that's going to give us a four by five gatefold card. So if I just bring my trimmer back in, pop this to eight and cut along there and turn that around. So I've got my mirror on the inside for this. We are going to decorate, decorate the outside, so do not worry. Give that a good crease along there. So this is then going to sit inside of our gatefold. It really works with the mirror because the mirror just gives you, it's like you're seeing the uh, the bar continue, isn't it? I know, we're not, keeping, we're not keeping that though. We are going to put some wood oh, panel in. Oh, what a shame because I love I know, that. It, 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 I know. Looks, it looks so, so good. I'm it sure there's something cool. that could be done with it. It does um, cool. Uh, Anne Marie Tracy has just put a message on onto or a comment onto I think it's the Facebook rather than the YouTube feed, yeah. And it's my favourite comment of the day. And there's been some really good comments today, right? But hers just says, "In love with my delivery!" Uh... Exclamation mark. Thanks HD. And and that's brilliant. It's one of the things that we've always said about Hunky Dory goodies is that is that do you know do you know our returns are tiny, and when I say tiny, they're almost non-existent. Um, uh, and th and that is down to uh, I think the quality of the of the product and this is it yeah. you know, like same, same as chefs say don't they that yeah that it, you know it's the, the quality of the ingredients really do matter definitely um, and and uh, yeah we we've got people seem to be so happy when they get the hunky dory stuff home uh, and you know we we we're, we're overjoyed that people are but that's a lovely lovely message to read. There's nothing better is there than getting your uh, getting your goodies home getting a delivery and it being as good as you hoped. Oops, just a uh, tape run of my nail then. Oh, Claire says uh, you could put a mini dartboard on one of the inside gatefolds. You could. You could. You could have a like a little price list or something like that. It's With so a picture cool, of your it? significant other's face on it. If you like. Whatever floats your boat. Depends on how, how well they behave. <laughs> so the wood panelling is also going to go on the outer doors. So keeping it quite simple on the front. I'm not going in with any mirror. I'm just going in with the wood panel in so that I can <coughs> then create. We are going to do a little belly band on here as well, like this, because obviously that's going to fold up and then these doors will close onto that bar and that will all pop it back into shape. So going to our, oh no, let's still put all our decoupage bits on. I forgot about all these. Oh my goodness. Nearly forgot to, uh, to add all the the funky names. So we've got our bar. Uh, and Marie, Emma is as balmy as you and I are. Um, she said, I always get told off with the, with the delivery as um, as I have my fix and sniff the card. <laughs> she loves the smell. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's, honestly, the smell of, of new card. Um, uh, you know, the, oh the... my goodness. You know the thing I've got on Thursday at Hobby Maker? What thing have you got on Thursday that... at Hobby Maker? You can't say, can you? I can't you? say. Can you, uh, can it, you, can it's you? shiny. It's shiny? I, can't, I, can't, I should know this. I can't really give you much more. I was more. doing the scheduling with you. Um, it's shiny. I can't, uh, I can't tell you anymore. Okay, all right. Without all giving right. it away. I, 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 I'll, I'll remember. Yes, but what but about it? But it smells. Does it smell so amazing? So good. Does it? I opened it when I was doing my prep on Friday, and I was like, "Oh my word, this smells incredible." Yeah. I don't know what that is. You I'll do. Have to think. Thursday. Give me a second. Let me have a look here. Oh, I do know. Oh, I do know. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, isn't it good? It smells. Is, isn't so it good? Nice. Yeah, it smells nice, but it's um, uh, yeah, no, it's yeah, it's, oh, that's a great product. That 
Oh, it's fantastic. I like it a lot. Right, that's enough. Yeah, that's enough. Um, honestly, guys, so it's Hobbymaker's birth, uh, birthday this week and we've got launches uh, with Hobbymaker throughout the week. We've got we do. Um, 12 shows this week on Hobbymaker. We normally have uh, kind of nine, really, is, our, is, is the, is the go-to number throughout the week on Hobbymaker. Um, sometimes eight, uh, but we've got 12. Um, and we've got some great, great new products coming. Uh, not least, these fantastic pop-up steppers, which are... They're, they're on, there's no doubt about it. It's my favourite concept card we've done, we've done this year. They are very, um, very cool. Yeah, by, yeah. I don't want to disparage anything else, but by distance, I think this is, these, these are absolutely brilliant. Okay, so we're just creating the belly band. So I've just scored it at one inch. I put my actual card in. So rather than making a measurement up, I've just popped that in. It's actually ever so slightly over four. And then what I'm going to do is, rather than um, cut it to size, I'm going to stick it together and then trim it. So again, we'll go in with that high tack tape on here. Just popping that in place. Uh, Faye said it's very rare that I use anything that isn't hunky dory and Diane said um, I'm, I'm the same I just can't find the quality anywhere else I mean that that is uh, I have to say that is our our hope it's um, it's not a hope it's what it's what we it's what we aim to do it's what we set out to do is is to have the highest quality yeah. craft products but at prices that are affordable um, because we want craft to be affordable you want people to be able to uh, uh, to, to craft and you know crafting is a wholesome thing you want people to be able to do it and not and not be unable because they can't you know they can't uh, afford crafting um so you want it to be to, to be affordable but the quality has got to be good yeah it's definitely. got to be and, and that's something we just won't compromise on um why should you why should you why should you because you don't need to you know you you, you see some of the, the the poorer quality products and you know I don't, I, again i don't want to be disparaging about uh, any other companies but you think why you know why would you why would why? you it's to try and save pennies, I think, or, or, or do, you know, do you know what I mean? Yeah, we, I don't, don't know. We, we, we do both, though, I feel. You hope so. That's, that's the aim. Okay, sorry, I'd cut my little strips a bit too short then, so I'm just going to go back in with this. So these are just going to wrap around over that Miri. Someone seems to think it's Diamond Sparkles Ombre Shimmer card, and Marie, that you're what? talking about. What? I don't know. I, I couldn't. I don't. Someone has been schedule checking. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. That's Claire, that I think, or is it? Yeah. Oh, but it smells so well good. Done. It does, doesn't it? So good. Okay, so we've got our little belly band now. So that will wrap around here, we hope. There we go. And then I'm just gonna get one of our- Isn't that great? Um, bigger book of sentiments. And pop it in the set, like in the just center of the band? pop it in the middle, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm looking for, uh, oh, let's go. Oh, that that works lovely, it? beautifully. I think the yeah, the gold's a lovely colour that you know that it matches with the mirrors that bang like on. I think we'll go um, with that. Let me just double check. There's nothing else because uh, you know sometimes there is. No, we're good. That's fine. That, that bigger book of sentiments has been brilliant. It's so popular. It's and so that, handy that was, for stuff like this. It's really handy. Um, and that was you guys at home yep. who said uh, you know we would like this, please. So. Um, Anything that you've got that's like that, where you say, you know, I'd like to like you to do this, we will always do our best to try and uh, and do it for you. There we go. So then, when you pop this together, when you get this, obviously you take your little belly band off, and then you have that amazing Isn't that little great? little pop up bar. It's perfect. If anyone has got their own bar at home, you know, like in the sheds and things they're, like that. And it is so popular. Yeah. I think I think during lockdown yeah. there were so so many people building bars because uh, there were no bars to go to. So um, so they built their own. It looks really uh, cool, doesn't Anne -Marie, it? Anne Marie, that is absolutely brilliant. And um, and the bar is an absolute favourite. Uh, so we will only get to see over the next uh, over the next few weeks and, and indeed months um, the, the the popularity of each yeah. of these individual pop up. Uh, pop-up stepper cards and um, because they are all available singularly as we said uh, can we get that back up on screen just for a second Lise um, so yeah we'll get to see but I think that there's a fair chance that the uh, the, the bar the pop-up bar is going to be uh, going to be one of the, the the most popular 250 each you can get those individually if there are specific ones that you do want uh, or indeed they're five any five for a tenner so it's completely up to you uh, okay and Marie would yeah. you believe it is we've pretty much nailed it it's an hour, just over an hour. Check we normally out. end up being an hour and a quarter we're or so, don't we? Pretty good, so, haven't we? Yeah, we've, we've been very well behaved. Um, so what we're going to say to you guys is, um, A, I hope you have a wonderful day, of course. Uh, but B, if you've got a little bit of time on your hands, go and watch Jewelry Maker. Because, uh, Natalie, about two minutes ago, 
Yeah. Would you agree? It's just started? Probably on, yeah, maybe just about now, yeah. Maybe just about now. Natalie so is starting one. on jewelry, ma jewelry Maker with our fabulous um, Craft Wire, and it's absolutely brilliant. And she's quite talented with it, isn't she? She's very good, yeah. Um, I think, yeah, yeah, she's really good with it. So, yeah, go and watch that if you can. Um, right, I've got a couple of things to tell you. I better find it. Here we go. Um, TV schedule, tune into Jewelry Maker at 11 a.m., where Nat will be showing off our Craft Wire. She'll then move over to Hobby Maker at 1 with some new deluxe craft pads Ooh. and 5 p.m. with some more pop-up stepper inspiration. Oh, she's team. got some amazing demos lined up. Has she? Yeah. You get to see these again at five o'clock on it's Hobby Maker, more guys. Ideas. Um, next up on Hunky Dory TV, join Rebecca and Kat at 10 a.m. tomorrow for our worst kept secret. Our craft trolley storage is here along with some great premier craft tool deals. Uh, I'm gonna say a big thank you from, uh, from uh, unless Lisa wants to say thank you herself. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for watching, everyone. Um, a big thank you uh, to Anne-Marie um, and from Anne-Marie to thank you guys. You. Uh, and thanks for watching, guys. We will see you tomorrow at 10. Bye.